everyone welcome back to another video so today's video oh my goodness I'm just crazy so I wanted to just um, journal and um, I guess create some layouts in my junk journal and I just wanted to turn the camera on and journal with you guys so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video um, I got to stay home today from work. I still had to attend a meeting, but I'm just excited. I wanted to journal because my sister-in-law created a collage sheet and it is just so cute, so vintage, so adorable, and I love it, and I wanted to put it in every single book that I own, <laughs> pretty much. So I am going to journal in my traveler's notebook size um, junk journals you're gonna see me hopping around um, because I really didn't prepare for the video I just wanted to just turn the camera on and just journal with you guys so my sister-in-law she created a vintage um, collage sheet right here um, she is Crafty Bees on Facebook, and she's also Crafty Bees on Instagram. I'm not really sure how she's going to go about um, using these collage, this collage sheet that she made. I know she's going to um, place them in some of the jur junk journals that she creates. Um, but So it's a printable. Um, she has, obviously, she has the beautiful um, original work, and then she scanned it in and shared it with me so I just wanted to show you guys so this is how the sheet looks and um, this is it with a um, with the colors a little bit brighter and then um, I already used half of the sheet <laughs> so let me share the sheet that I already use I have it in my Erin Condren Amy Tangerine um, notebook this one right here I have this in my on-the-go folio and I let's see where can I find the page was this the book sometimes I wonder like was this the book I used because I'm using like 500 books at the same time okay yeah so I just wanted to highlight her beautiful sheet in my book and her name is Erica but she's crafty bees like I said on Instagram and on Facebook so you can check her out if you want to and so that was that but right now I wanted to create some pages or decorate some pages in my Webster's pages uh, traveler's notebook so in this notebook I already have my I have a completed traveler's notebook right here the one from happy scrappy I just didn't put it away yet because I'm waiting to fill my finished notebooks of June 2020, but that's what's in there. But I also have other notebooks, like I have this notebook in here. This is an image from Courtney Diaz, but um, I have this notebook in here. This is a Webster's Pages notebook that I already started uh, June 2020 because I already finished my June pages in my L1917, so I wanted to start another book. But today I'm actually going to use this book right here. So I have this vellum sheet, which is so gorgeous. It's so beautiful as well. Um, this is from Courtney Diaz. And I really, really want to print um, this beautiful collage on vellum. But I just don't have vellum right now. But I wanted to use this book. I've shared it on my channel before. And I think I'm just going to cover this book with this beautiful vellum right here but I'm just gonna take that book out this book is from I'm a cool mom it's a um, traveler's notebook size um, it's really really pretty I think it gives off that vintage vibe it is a nice um, like really light teal color but it reminds me of like wallpaper that you would see um, and like the movies uh what like 20s or 40s or 50s or whatever and then there's some lace did i say it's from i'm a cool mom yeah i purchased it from i'm a cool mom i purchased this before i started making my own i really didn't know how to make these 
um, but then I watched a bunch of tutorials on um, YouTube so I just started making my own so some of the supplies that I'm going to use today I'm going to use obviously the collage sheet I'm not sure if I'm going to use both of these or not um, I do have some pieces that my sister-in-law she's my crafty bestie but she is on Guam and I am in Washington so that stinks so I might use some of these papers that she sent me to use in some of my pages I don't know we'll see I didn't really think about it like I said and then I'm going to use these two photos this is a photo of my son and a photo of my husband and this is when we went um, walking near the lake you can't even see the lake here <laughs> you could just see the forest and then I don't know if I'm gonna pull anything from here this is a ephemera pack from Bow Bunny I think it was like some sort of some sort of food collection but my plastic is all uh, it's called family recipes family recipes ephemera so I'm not sure if I'm going to use anything from here because these are chipboard and they're really, really bulky. But there's like random, random papers um, in here as well. I do like these. I don't know if I'm going to use this though. It does have that recipe vibe color. But then I saw this page. This thing kind of reminds me of like a Ouija board. Um... And then there's that piece that's cute. Um, I don't know. So I might just use like a few pieces. I don't know. Um, and then I have some washi tape that I just pulled from my washi collection. This one is um, the Aramel. This one has like, what is it? I don't know. It reminds me of tickets or something. Then I have like the ruler and then... I don't know this one actually says the word vintage <laughs> so I don't know I might use some of that washi and I don't know we'll see so this has a cute charm it's a rose and I'm just gonna find a page and dig in so I painted there let's see I feel like I want this book to be Whatever I want it to be, but I want it to have a sort of vintage feel to it, I guess. Um, just because of all the lace and the wood grain and and everything. But we will see. I did a bit of like paint swatches and this looks vintage to me. I'm just trying to find a page. That's what I'm doing right now. Let's do... Maybe this white page decorate in here so we have her collage sheet which is beautiful on its own on its own but I love that you're able to transform different um, collage sheets and make it make it like your own which is the beauty of stuff like this so I'm just gonna rip a little bit I'm trying to like grab the pattern and I'm just gonna rip a little bit there and then I am going to let's say I'm gonna eyeball the cut which is probably I kind of want it to be like the full size so let's just do Sometimes whenever I'm crafting, decorating in my pages, my journals, I just try not to think about it because I use crafting as a stress reliever for me. And if I have to think about it a little too hard, then it might become a stressor rather than a stress reliever. And I'm like pounding on this because I'm, I want to use up this glue, but I don't want to run out of glue. 
So I know I have to trim just a little bit off, so I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge just yet. I hope you guys could see me. Sometimes I don't know if I'm in the frame or not. So you could easily just use different uh, collage sheets on their own. Like I said, it's already beautiful. But sometimes if you want to add a little bit of your own creativity, then you can. Um, so let's just cut that off. Ooh, <laughs> someone's knocking. My friend was at the door. I wonder if you guys, I wonder if it's too far. I don't know. But then I'm like afraid to move because once you move like you're out of the frame and everything. Okay, so I did that and I know I want to add a photo, one of the photos. So, like maybe this photo of my kiddo, I like that. Ooh. And I do like these. Um, and even like this nice color in the background, like, yeah, that'll be nice. Just so it could have a pop of color. So it's not just all brown and, and muted. So like that one. Oh, that'll be so pretty. I don't really want to cover up like the pretty doily. What do I do? Okay, let's see. Unless I make it go up here, but I want to see the the rip. Anyway, so I want to still be able to see the doily. So maybe like that's good. Yeah, I think that'll be good. You have to commit. <laughs> So the picture, I printed it on sticker paper, so that's easy. I could just stick it on this guy and then put a little bit of glue on the paper that doesn't have glue. And then just stick my kittle right here so it covers up like some of the stuff but that's okay it's like you have the collage sheet in the background and then it's also sort of becoming your own so I like I don't know I feel like I want to put the stars here just because it's a kitty page but mm, green no oh what about these stars yes I like these stars it's makes it oh wow I did pretty good pretty good there and then where is my distress ink I'm just gonna grab I do have a dauber but I don't want to grab it. Okay. That color is walnut stain. So I just want to, ooh, that looks nice. Let's glue that there. So I am baking banana bread right now. And I checked it and I have 27 minutes. So I probably have about... 25 minutes now so cool and then let's see I don't know if I want to use any of these pieces because it's going to be so chunky but I think I have in my stash box here this is what happens when you're crafting on the fly. I do have these flowers. Just like take a couple, maybe two. 
flowers and I could place oh that's gonna be so nice so do I want to use any washi in this spread I don't know maybe I don't have to oh okay I want to use this one Let's see if I could find the beginning. There you go. So since I'm gonna put the flower here, I just want the washi to peak just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna put some glue on my flowers. And just put one more. You can see the washi just a tiny bit. gonna put my son's name I'm just gonna use these happy planner stickers right there Zai. all right so that is just one layout <laughs> I feel like I took longer than I thought I was going to take all right so let's just decorate another page. Let's find another page. Maybe, maybe this page? Yeah. Okay, so I have this piece left over that I ripped off from the other from the other page. So let's just use that piece. Oh, and my husband, I think he has the drill or something out because I could hear him. So let's put this out. I love this image on the collage sheet because it um, you can see the burlap and the different textures. It's like, it's so cool. Okay, so I have that. And then I do have the other strip that was yeah let's use this strip this is the strip that i cut off i love using everything sometimes i have to tell myself to throw some of my scraps away because i will hoard my scraps Have that there and then oh, these are like extra pieces oh let's use maybe maybe this maybe I'll use this let's cut it and then rip it this way Use some distress ink. Sometimes it's hard for me to talk and craft at the same time. So if it becomes a little silent, I'm sorry. And I'm like just about out with, no, it still looks like there's glue. I guess I just have to make sure that I have that ready. Okay, so let's do this piece right here. I love using Distress Ink because it just gives it that extra feel. So where is the photo? Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, found it. All right, so I have the photo. I could either 
let it like hide in between Ooh, like in between this since it's not like let's see I'm trying to figure it out figure out what I want yeah maybe I'll like hide maybe not that way maybe this way because my printer was was off and then you just have to commit so let's just use it it's a sticker paper so this is going to be tricky <laughs> that didn't really do anything Where are all my bits and pieces and bits and bobs and bits and pieces? Let's see. I have this, maybe. I can find something. Oh, there is like a sheet. Oh, I like this. Enjoy today, maybe. Yeah. So there's, I think I want to do enjoy today, yeah, enjoy today. So this sheet, you could probably use on your own, on its own, but there's so many beautiful signs and sayings that I just want to cut it out and use it. And I want to cover this bad, horrible print job. So yeah, let's do that. Let's put some distress ink. And let's do, ooh, what a pretty print behind that sign though. Do you guys have a hard time? picking out papers when you want to be able to use both sides and like let's say you only have one of each sheet most paper places um, include more than one sheet but there are times when you guys see my husband and my doggy So I like that, I like it a lot. I'm not too fond of white spaces like this, but sometimes if you don't want to, let's see, I don't know what I want to use. Do I want to use some washi? No, I don't think it goes well. Sometimes, just to cover up those white spaces, if you don't like the white spaces, then you can just grab some paint. So I have this watercolor. It's just a cheap uh, watercolor. It's very chalky, so it's probably not the best quality. I think I ordered it um, probably off of eBay or something. So I'm just going to go in and add some watercolor right here in the blank spaces. And since I'm trying to go with like a vintagey fill, then, then brown is good. Looks like mud. <laughs> so that looks so cool. And doesn't it like all, like let's put some watercolor at the edge of the paper of the picture so it doesn't look too harsh. And then this is just a water brush from Pentel. It says Pentel Japan. And then, like I said, I just got this off of eBay a long time ago. I don't even know what brand it is or anything, but anyway. So that is that layout. That's how that turned out. Oh, I really, really like the way it looks. Like, I really do. And that's my husband. And that's sort of like the title, Enjoy Today. So those are the two pages that I um, journaled or art journaled or collaged or I don't know what it's called. <laughs> 
but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do with this book. I think I'm going to make this like a sort of a vintage kind of feel to it. And I, my sister-in-law just inspired me with her, her beautiful uh, collage sheet that she made. And I used bits and pieces. I didn't have to use it as like one sheet. I could just take pieces of her collage to include in my book. And so yeah, so there's that one page that we did today together. And then there's the other page that we did today together. So that is about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thank you so much for your su support. Um, if you did enjoy the video, uh, please like, um, subscribe if you want to. And I'm just really glad you're here with me. All right then, have a good one. Bye.